Well, basically, I try to play around with the, a new wave in, in economics uh, theory, which is they try to take into account uh, the social effect, the peer effects, uh, the social interaction effects. Okay. So these are the outline of uh, my presentation. I will talk. I will try to introduce and then uh, give you some objectives and then. Afterwards, I will define what is social interaction in my case, and then try to look a little bit on literature review. Well, basically, we can skip the literature review, and then we can go to the methodology, uh, contingent valuation method. For those who are not familiar with this uh, methodology, I will try to go deeper, but if everybody is familiar with that, this one, we can just skip the methodology. But however, I want I want to focus on the sampling design. This is because this is the actually the soul of my paper, the soul how I get uh, the the result. And then I will look at the result. The result itself is basically I skip uh, several parts. We just look at the general pro, uh, socioeconomic profile, and then we look at the uh, the response analysis and then household team and estimation. Afterwards, we. I will conclude the, the whole uh, presentation. And then please interrupt me if you have a, a question. Okay, now look, uh, the basic idea is basically the soil waste management in the rapid urbanizing cities. Uh, for example, Bandung. Uh, Bandung, before it, has several, uh, it, had, it had several TPA, the, the final dumping site. However, today, they, Bandung only has one TPA, the final dumping uh, site, which is uh, Sarimukti. Sarimukti will be closed at the end of this year. And up to now, the municipal government, the Bandung government, they don't know, they still, they are still looking for the new site. Okay, so can you imagine that with the, 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 the capacity, uh, the, so people in Bandung, they can produce 3,000 ton per day, the solid waste. And then if there is a, let's say, a lack of uh, finding a new place, you can see that there will be a huge pile of uh, solid waste. Well, it actually uh, happened in 2010 at the end of 2010. So for the three days, uh, people who live around the Sarimukti, they close the dumping site because there is a problem of uh, compensation and so on and so forth. They close the, the site and then Bandung was overloaded with the, its own solid waste, okay? So why? Because there is a rapid population growth overrun the capacity of most mu uh, municipal authorities. And then for the case of Bandung, one to two thirds of the solid waste generated cannot be collected by a local state-owned company called Pede Kebersihan. The main reason is there is no enough fund. And then the second one is if the, uh, the, the Pede Kebersihan can collect the waste, it, hope it is often di uh, disposed of in an uh, uncontrolled dam sites. So if you, if you go to the final dumping site, you can see there's a huge pile. The, the good one is you can separate between organic and unorganic uh, waste, solid waste. Because you can recycle the unorganic one and then you can compose the organic one. However, when you mix everything together, the, it, it is hard to recycle the unorganic one because you, have, you need to clean up first and then the composting process will be interrupted because there is uh, unorganic uh, matters uh, inside the organic one. Okay? Again, why? Because uh, solid waste management are often underpriced or non-priced at all. 
Okay. Now the question is, uh, as economists, because solid waste management is a public good, I try to look for the demand of solid waste management, and then the way to do that, uh, economists uh, they have two methods. The first one is contingent valuation method, which is uh, the one that I use, and then the second one is choice model. Between contingent valuation model uh, method and choice model is basically they are quite similar. Choice modeling, uh, the easiest way how to understand choice modeling is you do contingent valuation method over and over and over again. So basically you will get the demand for the public goods. As you know, public goods is if people can free ride. Okay? So the use of contingent valuation method to value public goods and services. The problem is the choice valuation method is coming from hypothetical behaviors in a hypothetical market. What I mean is, I propose a new program. This program is hypothetical, completely hypothetical. It's not been done yet. So I propose and then I try to look, do you want to pay if there is some improvement from the status quo, okay, from the current condition? That's the, pro the problem. It's just like uh, proposing a new gadget that there is uh, attributes inside that gadget. This is completely hypothetical. This is completely in the hypothetical market. So, economists, most of the economists, they are a little bit reluctant. They are a little bit skeptic with the because the results are coming from hypothetical market. And then here, in my case. Beside finding the demand for the solid waste management, for the improvement of solid waste management, I try to minimize the gap between actual behavior and hypothetical behavior. There are two things that have been done up to date. First, some of economists uh, mostly conducted by Daniel Whittington from North Carolina. He employed time to think feature. Means that, so basically I come to the respondent, I ask them, look, uh, we have a problem, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And then to, come, uh, to solve this problem, uh, we need this uh, program. However, this program comes with a, a price. And then this is the price that you have to pay. Do you want to join or not? The normal one, the normal CVM method, you come, you ask, the respondent give the response. They are meeting them, try to employ time to think. Okay, you don't need to answer my, uh, my proposal today. I will come back to you after two days. Please think about that. So think about the proposal, think about the hypothetical goods that I propose to you, okay? This is the first one. I will employ this one. Second, this is the new one. This is the thing that I propose. Incorporating social interaction. So, when you think about, about, about the, the goods, yes, there is a possibility that you ask your partner, let's say your wife or your husband or your children or your neighbors, However, their meeting them cannot trace uh, who talks with who, okay? who interacts with whom. Their meeting them can, cannot do that. Me, I try to design a uh, sampling, I try to do the sampling design that makes sure I can trace you talk with whom. Okay? So I can see. Uh, do, this, do social interaction have effect on uh, your valuation on the public goods? Do I make myself clear enough? Good. So, the academic contribution, because I'm a still a PhD student, I need to put the academic contribution, but well, basically this is the, my contribution. Opening a new path to narrow the gap between hypothetical and actual behaviors by incorporating social interaction effect. Why I say opening, not closing? Because 
I, I, I still do not know what happened if I really propose the goods. So that's my life. So I just open the, the way, but to, to, do, to know exactly whether the gap is close, uh, get, getting closer or wider, I need to do, I need to sell that goods in the real market. And I cannot do that. Not yet. Except if somebody wants to give me money. The second one is providing a new result for time to think for the case of local public goods. Uh, even David Whittington, uh, time to think is only, he conduct only for the private goods, mostly on the tap water, tap water program, or a sewer system. So your household is connected with the uh, pipe water or the sewer system. Okay, so it's basically a private goods. Somehow it's private because you cannot use it all together within your neighborhood. While me, solid waste management is basically a local public goods because in one area, most people, they pay for the collecting services. So that's why this is a, a new result. And then the policy recommendation is basically Providing information to Bandung municipality government about attitudes, opinions. Unfortunately, I cannot present this data, the result today, because with the time limit, because I have huge info information about the attitudes, the knowledge of respondent. I have a, about one uh, eight hundred something respondents, and then I look on trust. Uh, the, uh, do they trust to the the current government? Uh, do they trust that the current government can manage and then about the attitudes and then also about their behaviors where, where they, they, they uh, throw the garbage, the solid waste and then most of the respondents either they use uh, the collecting services or they throw it to the river. That's the idea in Bandung. Okay. Now, Let's go to the definition of uh, social interaction. Well, basically, I need to know who interacts with whom. That's the basic uh, question. And then to do that is, most of uh, our econometric, uh, the econometric result already have done this one. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Unconsciously. Because look, to define who interacts with whom, we can define the group of all persons in the population that endow similar characteristic: age, income level, uh, educa uh, education level. So when people, well, uh, you know, when you let's say uh, people with higher education, they tend to uh, value more of public goods. They value more of solid waste management. Meaning that they are willing to pay more, okay? Or people with a higher income, or people with a higher age, female, uh, male, sex. So that is basically one of the way to to capture the social interaction. The second thing is this one is used by the sociologists: subjective information on individual reference group, mostly used for who, who are working on the. Uh, in the health economics. If you want to know the someone who uh, with the AIDS, HIV AIDS, so you ask them uh, with whom you have a, have a sexual intercourse. So that's basically, now here in this case, I will ask the, uh, the, my respondent with whom you discuss about my uh, solid waste proposal. Okay, so this is a subjective information. And then I need to make sure that I can differentiate between endogenous versus contextual social interaction. In this case, my, uh, my, my social interaction is a contextual social interaction because they are stay in the one area. It's not endogenous social interaction. Okay, and then Sorry, this one is supposed to be random selection into reference group. Okay, so I try to minimize the problem of non-randomness. Okay, 
So this one is uh, basically these two. They are to make sure that my, my the robustness of my result. Uh, to conclude, the, the how to define the social interaction is reference group based sample as all res respondents within the sample community are interviewed in principle. So basically, the idea is like this. So there are eight people here, nine including me. Okay, let's say I randomize, I choose two of out of, out of uh, two out of eight, uh, out of nine, and then I ask them, I interview them. Then I will ask them to provide, let's say, three names of the in, inside their uh, with whom they usually interact. Okay, when they provide me three names, everybody gives me three names, and then from six names. Again, I try to randomize and then I choose another two from six. And then I make sure that six is belong to the eight. So I will come and then ask them. So that's basically what I'm doing, right? Uh, what I was doing. Okay. Okay, so we just a little bit uh, quick review on the uh, quick look at the literature review on the effect of social interaction. This is the new paper, uh, papers from theoretical point of view. Uh, private provision of public goods in networks. Uh, if someone uh, interested in the in experimental economics, the, this paper is not being tested in the uh, in the laboratory. And then adoption decision in which uh, social interaction are present. And then relative consum uh, consumption concern of those close to us. Basically, this paper is the underlying of my paper. Instead of uh, relative consumption, is I use relative contribution to the public goods. Okay, and and then this is the empirical investigation. Social interaction is used in the uh, matching theory. For those in the labor economics, must be uh, familiar with that. And then also the effect of uh, technology technology adoption. And then juvenile delinquency and conformism. Okay. So basically, most of the theoretical and empirical investigation of the effect of social interaction they have been done in the arena of labor economics. Uh, uh, technology adoption, health economics, but not in environmental economics. And now I think I can go to the uh, environmental economics using a new way. Okay, now for the valuation studies on solid waste management, well, basically they are, uh, you can di differentiate between, uh, you can di divide it into two groups. The first group, based on the where the study took place, the first group is the, uh, the studies in the developed countries, and then they are uh, aiming for reducing landfill. So they try to not to use a landfill uh, program. While in the developing countries, focus on the benefits of providing or improving the basic solid waste disposal methods such as a collection. So basically, mine is. I propose a new way, a new method of collecting solid waste. In this method, the government will provide a garbage bin. Uh, there are three bins. The first one is for the organic one. The second one is for non-organic one. The third one is, uh, they differentiate with colors. Uh, the third one is for metals and uh, zest. Okay, so it's just like in any developed countries. And then, the government will make sure that this someone will collect the waste, the solid waste. And then this guy is also responsible to make sure that the waste is completely, perfectly separated. So in order to make sure that the organic one can be composted perfectly and then the non-organic one can be recycled. Okay? So and then they will bring it to the, uh, the last dumping site. Okay? Yeah, so basically, uh, if you're familiar with the, what happened in Bandung in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, there's a landslide in Louis Gajah, the former 
dumping site in Bandung. The the main idea why there is a landslide is because in on the bottom it's a organic one and then they get composted. But uh, on the top is a non-organic one. They cannot be composted. So when the bottom is uh, get composted and there is no supporting pile, that's so, so that's why it is a, a landslide. Well, it's not a landslide, the waste slide. Excuse me. Okay, and then this is the common findings from the review study. I don't know what that. Okay. So there is a demand for improved solid waste management program, either in developed and in developing countries. My result also shows a positive demand. So uh, solid waste management services are often placed ahead of other major social concerns. Say it with me. So uh, solid waste management services are normal economic tool uh, because there is a positive demand. And then the willingness to pay value increase in general with education level. I also uh, found the same thing awareness and then past positive experiences. So uh, for those who, for, for household that you know experience directly the negative effect of solid waste, uh, poor solid waste management, they, they are willing to pay more. Well, it's quite reasonable. And then family size, in my case, I, this is, is, it is insignificant. And then families having kids, same, is insignificant in my case. And then the willingness to pay for principal, so, uh, a principal solid waste management services range between one to three percent of household income. In my case, is two point five percent. Okay. Okay. Now we look at the contingent valuation method. So my uh, CDM questionnaire is basically just like any other CDM uh, questionnaire. Consists of three parts. The first part is a detailed description of the goods. So I will explain to them what is the improvement of solid waste management they can get. Okay. Second is the question that elicits the respondent willingness to pay. So I will ask them, I will propose, uh, so I use the dichotomous choice, yes or no. I will propose them a price, okay. I have a eight uh, price level and then I randomize within the respondent. So I propose them one price and then they just ask whether they like it, they are willing to pay or not. Okay, this is a simple uh, choice uh, uh, contingent valuation method, okay. The third one is question about the respondent socioeconomics and other characteristics. So I try to look uh, other characteristics that might influence the their response. Okay, using a dichotomous choice combined with the dissonance minimization of our elicit elicitation question. Dissonance minimization means I propose them the, if they say yes, why they say yes, I will propose them the a series of uh, options and then if they say no I will propose also series, uh, series of uh, options one of the options is because they don't trust to the government the current government and then most of the no response is because they don't trust that the municipal government can overcome the problem of solid waste management uh, solid waste problem okay and then I use a neighbor, neighborhood retribution as the payment vehicle because they don't believe. Uh, I got a, uh, advice from Dale Whittington, with basically the, those that, the, the one that I use the paper. And then this guy said to me that uh, don't use a, a, a payment vehicle that people cannot trust. So I use the neighborhood retribution because you know. Uh, where your money goes, okay? 
And then I use a parametric linear logic model and a method to determine the willingness to pay. Okay. In my, uh, in some of the, if you read, I will pro, uh, publish the paper uh, soon enough. I also use a non-parametric one. Okay, this one is the most important thing. So, uh, I choose 10 communities. Communities here is a uh, Rukun Warga. I don't know in English. Do you understand what I mean by Rukun Warga? Yeah. So I will choose uh, 10 communities, okay? Uh, and then we'll divide it equally into two groups. The first group is the control communities, five communities, and then the treatment group, okay? From group zero, consists of 300 respondents, means uh, 300 divided by five is 60 from each uh, communities. While the other groups, the treatment groups, is consists of 600 respondents. This is the important thing. Respondents of group D were divided into two subgroups. Group D0 is untreated respondent in the treatment communities. Sorry, let me explain from the very beginning. Group 0 is basically those who follow a simple choice valuation, uh, contingent valuation method. What I mean by simple means I come, I ask, they respond. Finish. So that's what, what, what I mean by a simple one. The treatment one is divided into two subgroups. T0, uh, those who live in the treated communities but untreated respondent, untreated respondent in the treatment communities, they follow exactly what group zero. Okay? They just follow a simple CVM method, uh, the choice violation method. While group T1, this is the most important one. Well, respondent in group T1 were interviewed in two sessions. The first sessions, I provide the first, I will ask, the, uh, I will give them the detailed description about the problems and then the way I uh, propose the, the solution that I propose and then uh, the characteristic, the socioeconomic characteristic. And then I will ask them, please think about these problems and then the solution, and the solution that I propose for about four to six days, okay? After, let's say, six days, I will come to that person, and then, look, when I say that, think about the problem, I will not give them the price. When I come to the second, uh, the, on the second session, do you have, uh, I will ask them, did you think about the problem? Yes, did you think about the solution? Yes. The solution come with the price. Do you want to pay this price? And then after that one, after that, uh, after I interview uh, respondent from group T1, I will come to the respondent of group T0. Group T1 and group T0, they are neighbors. Okay, this is. And then all respondent were asked, to provide five friends with whom they spend most of their social time. Basically, this is the idea. So I have, let's say, let's say, uh, choose. Uh, this is one community, one community, and then this is the other community. Okay. There is a uh, three hundred person here. I ask them in, let's say, one single day. Finish. Okay. I go to the other community in the ban in Bandung uh, municipality. In this case, I divided the respondent, my respondent, uh, the 600 respondent, into two groups. Okay? The first group, I come to the T1, and I said, look, guys, this is a problem of solid waste management in Bandung municipality. Okay? Blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And then to solve this problem, I have a solution. This is the solution that I will propose to you. Here. Please think about the solution. Okay? 
When you think about the solution, you are allowed to ask to anybody you like. Okay? And then after four to six days, I will come back to you and then I will ask you whether you agree with about the, uh, the, the, the solution that I provide. And then I also will ask you about the price. I didn't say the price in the beginning, but I will tell them that they will ask how much they will uh, they are willing to pay. Okay? After four six days, I come to the group T1 again. Okay, guys, I believe you already think about that. I believe you already discuss about that. Now, I'm asking you. I do you uh, are you willing to pay if the solution comes with X price? Okay, X is can be uh, is a uh, uh, the is a, a sequence. Okay, a vector of four prices. And then, sorry. And then after they uh, some of them they are willing to pay, some of them they are they, they are not willing to pay. And then afterwards. I come again to the T0 on the same day. The reason is because I do not want the price from T1 is goes to the T0. Because there even in the, in T1 there is a different prices, okay? I do not want that people who get uh, the lowest price come to the their neighbors and then I come to the neighbor the that neighbor at the after that day and then oh, I I heard that some guy you offer different uh, this price, let's say X price. But why you offer me Y price, not X price? Because I heard some of my neighbor got X price. So in order to make sure that there is no uh, information spill over, price spill over, if, uh, if, uh, price information spill over, I interview T zero at the same time as the second session for T one. Do I make myself clear enough? Because this is the idea of social interaction. So these are household, head of households that you interviewed. Exactly. It could be a wife or a husband. Okay, should I continue? I want to make sure, <laughs> because this is the idea. The idea is T0 is basically just like in a group zero. The only difference from group zero, they stay in the same community like T1. T1, they already have the information. So people who are in the group T1, they are more, they are better informed. They are know the solution, they are know the problem. While group T0, they don't have enough, uh, uh, they don't have a chance to think about the problem and the solution that I propose. Similar, similar to the group zero. So in the group T1, uh, you uh, uh, ask them uh, to think about uh, value and then uh, when you uh, get back in uh, five or six uh, days after, you uh, offer a range of value. Yeah, I oh, know uh, one price. So the, the price uh, is from from. Uh, do, uh, it was me who choose the price. I there is a the price is a, from three thousand five hundred rupees up to twenty four thousand five hundred rupees with three thousand interval. Oh. So there are eight. Choose, uh, within the range. Yeah. No. I I randomize all respondents. Uh, who gets the uh, what price? But the, the the choice is only eight. Okay, so you might have uh, three thousand five hundred, but uh, Lydia got two thousand twenty four thousand five hundred. Okay. So you choose uh, value for uh, certain household. No, uh, I didn't. Uh, not not. Uh, who who choose the value? What value? Uh, the value that uh, you. As for you, you ask them for think about the value. And no, no, I ask them to think about the problem. Or the problem. And then the solution that I propose. Yeah. Okay. But I told them that this solution, 
will come with the price. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay? So you I will you ask you a price. Oh, uh, okay. okay. So basically, I ask them to think about the problems and then the improvements. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not the price. Yeah, yeah. What solutions did you propose? The solution that I propose is uh, the government will provide a, a new garbage bin. Uh, the divided into three uh, compartment, and then they yeah, got like at the TPR or no, 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 within the community. TPS. No, no, they're in the neighborhoods. Oh, okay. okay. And then they will bring it to the guy that will collect it. Yeah. So this one is basically a really simple improvement. Yeah. I will make sure that there is, there is a regular collection services. That's the improvements because there is no such thing. In Question? Okay, so basically group P0 and group 0 they are quite similar because they follow a simple choice uh, contingent valuation method. Okay, there is no time to think. While group T1 they have they have time to think. Okay? Now the question is what happened? If group T0 behaves similarly to group T1, okay, there might be that from people from group T1 ask or discuss about solid waste problem with people from group T0. That's social interaction. Okay? Okay, and then the, the thing is I'm, I'm quite uh, uh, sure about they discuss about with the, the, the neighbors because this is a neighborhood problem this is not a personal problem okay if there is a waste problem in the communities everybody acknowledge that one everybody knows about everybody know about that one and then question they continue okay can you see Okay, I'm sorry, I <laughs> Too bad. Then, uh, well, anyways, uh, I just uh, this is the socioeconomic profile. So I go to uh, we, now we are in the result part. Uh, the y variable is the the response. Yes, one is for yes, zero is otherwise. Between group zero, group T one, group T zero, and then the all the pool sample. And then I have price information, sex. Sex is uh, most of the respondent is female simply because I conduct the interview on the daytime where most of the male one went to work. Okay, and then the age is around 43 45, and then most of them they are married. Education level is 12 years, which is just uh, high school, finishing high school. And then the household size is five uh, the, on the average. And then the working member is around one or two. Okay, and then the electricity bill, and then I have a phone bill, transportation cost, monthly transportation cost, and then monthly income is around three million something. And then I have also about knowledge of a solid waste uh, management. Uh, and then the solid waste problem. The it is a series of uh, twelve questions that ask you that uh, I ask them whether they understand completely understand what solid waste. I see. Uh, for example, is what is the difference between organic and unorganic waste? Things like that. Okay. And then where the, the your waste goes or where is the final dumping site? Okay, and then experience, negative experience, positive attitude is basically the trust. Okay, and then uh, social interaction. Somehow group D1 has yeah. I think more no, group larger one is, uh, income, larger household transport costs. And yeah, that's, that's uh, the thing that I need to uh, think about uh, to make sure that there is no uh, selection problem. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, this one is a it's a still ongoing process, so I need the input. So I acknowledge that one. How do you choose the T1 and T0 amongst from the Just completely randomized. randomized. Yeah. I randomize. I'm not looking for the type of Just yeah. I, uh, I I went to the the local government, the Kelurahan, and then asked them how many household there and then we just randomize. How you measure positive attitude and social interaction? No, well, the positive attitude is uh, I have a question that do you believe that the government uh, uh, can solve the solid waste, solid waste problem with this money? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay? And then it's really small because Now, if I do not consider social interaction, so I just uh, look group T1, group T0, and then uh, group 0. There is no, well, in general, yes, they have a negative slope, but there is no significant differences between those three groups. Okay? This is also appears in most of papers who employ time to think effect. They do not see a significant effect of time to think. So whether you have a, well, yes, then, uh, people who have more time to think, there is possibility that they can give a lower price or uh, lower probability to say no, uh, to say yes, or higher probability to say yes when I propose the goods, okay? So there is no no clear cut whether, uh, no clear di uh, significant differences between group 0, group T0, and group T1. Interestingly, when I differentiate group T0 with social interaction and group T1 with social interaction, those with social interaction, okay, this is the, sorry, I missed uh, the important part. How I know that this guy talked about it? Remember, I asked them to provide five names. So each reference will provide five names. They can live within the community or outside the community. I don't really care about that. So, because I have uh, the, the the question about this one, whether this uh, guy living with uh, the same airway like you or not. If they just say no or say not like you or not. If he, he say or she says no, then I will, this guy is not belong to them. So I have five names, okay? Five names from P1. And then when I go to the T0, I choose five names, these five names. I choose two, okay? And then I ask them, and then I ask T0 to provide five names as well. If the T0 gives, anybody have a marker? Oh, this one. So, there's a guy, Mr. A. Mr. A will provide five different names. Okay? From these five names, I choose two. Randomize. Let's say this guy. Okay? And then from Mr. Two, I will do the interview. This one is a T0, this one is T1, okay? The T0, after I finish interviewing Mr. A, I will come to Mr. Number 2 and Mr. Number 4. And then if Mr. Number 2 has uh, point out Mr. A, okay, as the source of, because I have a question, that, did you discuss about the solid waste management problem within four to five days? 
and then if, say, if this guy said yes, and then who is the guy, Mr. A, then there is a social interaction. Correct? Even. So, look, I asked Mr. A provide five names, okay? Five names where he discussed about solid waste management problem within for within the thing, uh, time to think day, okay? And then these five days, I find two, okay? I collect two from five, out of five, okay? And then I ask these two guys, did you discuss, or have you discussed about solid waste management problem or solid waste management issue within four to six days? And then if say if they say yes, and then I will ask the, him who, if he mentioned A, then there is a social interaction, two-way social interaction. Can you follow me? Yes or no? Yes, I, I collect the, the, this is normally used in the, by the sociologists, how they, uh, this is a, like, like a, a snowball. But now I reverse the ball. Just like this one. I go to Arif, and then I ask Arif, Give me five names with whom you discuss about solid waste management within this week. And then Arif gives me five, five names. There are two names, let's say Lydia and Mawa. And then I come to Lydia and Mawa. Let's say, uh, did you, uh, did, uh, according to Lydia, did you discuss about solid waste management problem uh, issue? Yes. With whom? With five different names, or only two names. Because he, let's say Lydia forgot about Arif. Only Martin and Oboy. And then I go to Wawa. Wawa, oh, did you have a, a discussion about solid waste management problem? Yes. I discussed with Arif and Oboy. Since Arif point out Wawa, and Wawa also point out Arif, Arif and Wawa then has a social interaction. That's what I say about social interaction. But I cannot choose Lydia to have a social interaction because Lydia do not discuss with someone who has information. That's what I mean by social interaction. So the, the five preferred people are the two zeros? Yes, exactly. So that's the idea why to go Three yes, exactly. Because normally only two. Exactly. That's the idea. I need three groups instead of two groups. So I was wondering why you make it so complicated. Exactly, because it is good. Because I want to make sure that this is this interaction. And then group zero is the rep, uh, the the control one to make sure I, because I want to see what happened, what is the behavior of Wawa, and then what is the behavior of Arif compared to group zero. Both of you have interaction, right? But when you are comparing the result, you are going to pay. So you, so you compare that in the control group. Exactly. But there are some part of the non-control group that you have to exclude. Because the interaction is not complete. I mean, you cannot have full sample in the T1 Yes, that, but uh, I put uh, the, the dummy to control it, the part, right? Yes, but in, in the T1 group, mm -hmm. there are also people who are not really socially interacting. Exactly. Yeah. So you, have, you cannot compare with that, you compare with the control group T0. What, what, what did you do to the, group, to the group of the sample in T1 that are not socially interacting? What did you do with them? In the analysis. Oh, they, they just I, uh, I so they have a series of dummy variables. 
Uh, or, or you just you just exclude control? No, no, I, I, I put uh, still I use all the the, the, the respondent, the whole uh, sample, and then so yeah, I just put the dummy variable to differentiate between uh, so t1 uh, equal to one means this. Uh, sorry, respondent is equal to one because this guy is a uh, I. And this one. Wait. So this one can. I have group T1, group T0. Okay, without uh, controlling the social interaction. But you divide the T1 into two groups. Exactly. T1, T1 into two groups. Yes, and T2, uh, T0 into two groups. Exactly. Is it to T0 into two groups? T0 into two groups. No, no, no. T0 who has a social interaction, T0 with, with no social interaction. T1 with social interaction. T0 also social interaction. Yeah, exactly. Only T1 social interaction. No, no, no. I look at the social interaction in two ways. Wow, wow interact with you, you interact with Wow. And then this is the result. First, I do not, uh, if you look at uh, this uh, negative uh, value for price, Meaning that uh, when the price increasing, the demand or the probability of saying yes is getting less and less. Education has a positive effect significantly. Income has also a positive effect and significantly in both models. The first model is the model without the social interaction, just to control the, the groups. And then the model number two is the, uh, the model with the social interaction. Okay, and then if you look that, so this is the, the, the first model, Go, becoming a group T1 or group T0 is not to really makes a difference compared to the group zero, the control group, okay? So having time to think effect. Excuse me. So having time to think effect or just staying in the same neighborhood with the group T, T1, it's not make any difference, okay? But you, may, uh, you control those who have a social interaction. They have more. Uh, they have higher willingness to pay. They have a higher probability to pay for the improvements. And then those who have uh, to, who have time to think, they actually don't. They don't uh, really want to pay more. This one is uh, similar to the result by Whittington. And then this one is also. So those who have uh, time to think, uh, oh sorry, those who with uh, social interaction, they are willing to pay more. While those who only think, uh, who have only time to think and stay in the same neighborhood, they tend to behave badly, meaning that they are not willing to pay more or the probability of uh, providing public goods is less than group zero. And then this is the mean willingness to pay. Group zero is uh, 13,051 rupiah per month. And then group T1 and group T0, those who, who are in the group T1 but do not have a social, do, uh, didn't have a social interaction, uh, didn't have a social interaction, they pay less than the group zero, while group T1 with social interaction who discuss with, they pay 16,000 something and then 17,000 something, which is higher than the control willingness to pay, mean willingness to pay. Conclusion. So that's per oh, month? Yes. To pay per month? Yes. Per household? Per household. Per month. I do not know what is the, the cost to provide that uh, improvements. 
I mean providing the garbage bin for every single airway and then for the collection services. Sorry, did you control for the initial condition of the solid waste uh, management within the community? Uh, big big community because it might be different, right? Some community have more. better. Right, yeah, better. No, I do not. I but I have the information about that one. So you mean that uh, so there is a the some people where they already collected the money and then uh, when you ask them to pay more, they does they doesn't want to pay more. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I do have an information about that whether they already paid the the solid waste retribution. Whether the community or the paid uh, asked by the PD kebersihan, but I will uh, try to control about it. I I think about that one. Uh, some well actually uh, uh, Gadu Arya Gadu already asked that question, so I'm thinking about that one. Whether it's uh, have a effect or not. <coughs> but what is your your your, your question actually? Yeah, uh, because. I don't know, maybe there is something to be different if you can't that one. That's, that's fine. Right. Okay. Because this is additional, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This, this is only... They're already paying a high amount, they might yeah, be, there is a be happy to be paying more compared to another community which is paying. Exactly. This is uh, an issue about that one. People in the community, they only pay a lump sum money. They do not know uh, the breakdown of this money, whether for the security, uh, cleanliness, whatever it is. They give me the lump sum, and then that's the thing that why I cannot say that. That's why I, I, I stress them that there is a new additional money, just like Olivia said, uh, for providing that's only focusing on solid waste collection services. So, so, this to, so you are using, you are not using hypothetical baseline. What do you mean by not using? Because in CPM, there's a choice of baseline. You can use mm -hmm. existing baseline or hypothetical baseline. That could be a So you are using, what you explain in the improvement of current just baseline. So is the baseline current? existing baseline set to more uh, respondents or you are using uniform hypothetical baseline for respondents? No, by, when they say no, they basically choose the the status quo, the, the baseline. So the, the, the baseline yes. is existing, really? Yeah. Not hypothetical. Yeah. So, because if not hypothetical, then you should create a problem of exactly. different baseline. Exactly. Exactly. So exactly. Should, I'm sure they have a solution can measure a proxy system situation. Yes, there's, a, there's actually a, a, a discussion about when the baseline is a hypothetical baseline, and then well, it's, it's, a, it's more it's a deep, another different topic. But yeah, but in this case, when they say no, they 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 actually use the current. But I will try to try to control about the price differences. Uh, but in this case, I need to make sure that I cannot use. Well, I can I can use uh, how much money they already pay every month. But I cannot. Well, it's really hard for me to differentiate whether this money goes to the solid waste collection, the services, or to something else. Because well, yeah, we know that there are so many collect uh, uh, contribution that people tend to pay without thinking about it. Yeah. So, I will look at it and do it. Uh, how the condition of environmental problem in the community is the same or not in the 10 communities? Maybe uh, some communities has already oh, yeah. managed well the garbage disposal or... No, I, 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 I will think about that, yes. Uh, because if the proxy is the, 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 the income, I can trace back that one. Uh, but I can look at the actually the, the community, how the community, I can look back. Excuse me? 
look back to the community because the, I have the whole uh, re, uh, respondent and I look, at, I know where exactly they live, mm -hmm. and then I can let's say ask them uh, to find out whether there's a, a new program or not. Because I assume there is a. Uh, I just randomized without thinking about the the difference the differences uh, within um, between communities about the the the, the baseline. But it, uh, uh, I think it's a good. So group T1 respondents have a lower have lower have lower probability I this to purchase the proposed uh, public good, the proposed good relative to the group zero. However, when they discuss about the city scenario with their neighbors, it turns out that the probability increased significantly. This, this uh, uh, conclusion is actually similar to experimental uh, for the provision of public goods. Uh, agents who, who have time to think whether they want to contribute or not to the public goods, they tend to, con uh, to contribute less than those who do not have time to think. Okay? So it's quite similar. Again, uh, however, when they discuss about the CV scenario, there's a paper by, uh, I forgot the name, about social ties. It shows that people with a higher social interaction, they are willing to pay more than those who are not have a high social interaction. So this one is quite similar. Okay, and then the mean willingness to pay for group T1 is 9,000 something, which is equivalent to 1.57 dollar uh, purchasing power parity. While those for the, uh, with the social interaction, the mean willingness to pay estimate increases by Estimated increases by 66%, which is equivalent to $2.61 purchasing power parity. Oops. Same with the group T0, even though they only stay in the same neighborhood. The question is why this guy pays more than this guy? Still, the I cannot. I'm still thinking about that. If you look, because I'm hoping that group T1 with social interaction is those who will pay more instead of group T0 without time to think. Right? So in this case, I am expecting RF will pay more than Wawa. But in my, uh, uh, the, the, the result shows that actually Wawa, the T0 with social interaction, pays more than RF. Question? Thank you. Uh, I feel like I just have a little, you know, uh, from, from that case, I saw the returns of the social interactions, or is there any other returns? It's no. There is time to think, yes. If uh, I compare my result to time to think, it is similar. Similar means that people who have time to think, they they, are, uh, they have less willingness to pay, or the probability of purchasing the public goods is less. But, but this is an interaction, so it's never been done before. Right? And it's an issue, right? I'm completely sure. You have a very, you have a very challenging work. Exactly. Now, it's not something it's hard for this. It's normally uh, when something new. Exactly. Yeah. There will be hard. There will be resistance. Exactly. <laughs> not, not, yeah. some, some people say that if something new is, 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 is easier to publish, in fact, in reality, it may not be the case. 
sea aplicar todo el estado a tener el estado de estado oscuro Oh yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Um, to contribute. Exactly, no. Because for example, in the EFC studies, uh, now studies, yeah. uh, with, with Social interaction. Let's social capital. Social, social capital. Exactly. Social interaction, social capital. Exactly. Exactly. It's not the context of CPM. Exactly. Context of contributions. Exactly. So I think. Exactly. It's not really you can use there to back up. Okay. Your okay. But you don't need to you don't need to contain yourself within the CPM. CPM. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. If you if you if you ask me about. Uh, Similar studies, not in the uh, content of a, so, uh, not the environmental evaluation. Yes, most done in the experimental and also field experiment that like the Nam in the Vietnam, right? Yes, I actually follow those study, but bring it into the CPM content. So my my let's say the thing that the the new that I can propose here, the novel story of my studies, I bring something else into the CPM. So basically there's no, no, no new, I just combining, make a new combination of studies. And then luckily, I found a similar result, similar, similar results like in the, now that social interaction actually have a positive effect on the provision of public goods. On contribution, right? Exactly. Contribution. Exactly. In these cases, we are willing to pay. The higher willingness to pay. Question? I still have two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what um, what percentage of the T1 discusses have actually uh, had social interaction? 80%. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it is. Because it is a... I, mean, I a, wouldn't discuss it with my neighbors. <laughs> 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 yeah. It would look yeah. up with how many people... Something, something, something yeah. like that. Because when you are um, when you want to place your 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 result and like this is finding in the literature, you should have something like that. You should have compare uh, the numbers, the magnitude of the difference, qualitatively. Not well, just this study, not not qualitatively. Just this study gets similar conclusion, but you have to also uh, compare the magnitude of the difference. Okay. On how big is how big? How many in dollar or in percentage? How, how many more they want to contribute due to social interaction? Then you can collect those numbers from other field, <coughs> experimental economics or whatever. Right? So collect have, those numbers. But if you, your numbers. If, if 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 how many uh, with social interaction? I can say that. But how many respondent? Oh, sorry, sorry, no, no, sorry, no, because, because, because what, what, yes. what Lydia said. No, 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 sorry, no, no. no. I don't about the difference. No, because I have the difference. The difference in the uh, contribution. Yeah, I have the numbers. I actually provide the, this one. So because you have numbers. Do you think that's big? The difference? I don't really see it very big. Really? 16,000 over to 17,000. So oh, this, this two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they are not. Uh, the, the thing is, statistically, they are not different. Oh, sorry, sorry. No. But here to here, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. or here yeah. to here, it is different. But the, what Lydia said is, I do not present how many that actually have it, but I do have the, the numbers because I I do have the numbers. And then, and then uh, how's the uh, distribution of the percentage? You know, because 
if you just uh, come close to the community in compact something like that. They, they, maybe they can not to talk to the neighbors, but if you would come or something, uh, they have to have yeah, that uh, social interaction. So maybe you have to control also with this. Uh, what community? So the co uh, community characteristic, characteristic, something like that. Yeah. Because if you have uh, these interactions concentrated in one area and not in the others, then maybe you have problems. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I will try to. Look. I did. I do not look at it. I do have the data. I see it too. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because yes, I. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The distribution of the uh, interactions. Yes. But this might be a good idea because when I see that if the I don't know I don't know about the distribution but well if uh, if those who live in the uh, crowded area yeah, yeah, they yeah. interact more it's obviously yeah I need to control that one yes and you only have five so you can yeah exactly it's easier to it's easy to it's only less than nine hundred so I can simply check about that. Oh, that's, that's, thank you. My son, so this is when you the paper is to spend uh, a bit more space on explaining the simple strategy and how to choose P1, P0, 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 because you will be exposed with uh, a very that is not really familiar with the way you strategize the simple. Okay. Well, I, I use a, a stratified caster. Yeah. Oh, the, the one, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, I have a hard time to either explaining or writing how this, uh, my sampling design strategy. You don't give a hard time to make people to digest it, so otherwise they will be the switching. Exactly. Uh, well, actually, the good thing is, my my sampling design is I modified from a paper by Duflo, Esther Duflo, and uh, something size from Harvard University. Also, uh, Esther Duflo from MIT, and the other guys from Harvard University. They use on the the willingness to join the pension program. Uh, and then the impact of the, the the impact of social interaction, and then the willingness to join the pension program. So, I again, there's no, it's not a new a new sampling design, but I try to modify it a little bit. So I <laughs> modify it with just a little bit. Uh, I wonder also uh, whether if uh, the intensity of interaction uh, is. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, con uh, qu quantify the intensity of the interaction. Uh, if you, if you know, uh, how, to how many people A have uh, interact mm -hmm. with those five yeah, person, but, uh -huh. have you uh, surveyed how many, how many person do A uh, communicate with? Yeah, this, uh, I only, uh, I only ask A to provide five, five, five person. Yeah. And then, and then from five percent, I can say uh, I can. Do you ask A again uh, how many person that he or she uh, communicate with within the five person? Yeah, yeah. No, this five person I actually did A discuss uh, oh. normally. Okay, in the, in the, in the social time. Mm -hmm. And then from this five is uh, also those who. Uh, discuss about what well, A said about the uh, so, uh, solid waste manageable problem. But what I, I what I capture from your question is about the intensity of uh, social interaction is how many hours A discuss with one person. I cannot. Uh, to have, uh, not how many hours, but to how many people? Uh, to how many? No. Only five. Uh, well, if we, if A can only say I only have three. Then three it is. Remember, I, I pull everything, all the this name, mm -hmm. into one group. So, uh, the people in group P0, are some of them 
discussing to more than one person in T1? Uh, group zero is I, I don't really... T0 or zero? T0. T0, T0. Yeah, sorry. Indeed. Some people in T0 might have discussed the issue with more than one person in T1. Exactly. So they actually might... That's that's probably the answer to the higher religious debate. They got they get bombarded by this information. So it's if A and B think it's a good idea, well, I better join. So their religious debate is actually higher because uh, compared to T T one would be discussing it with no because because even A can also point out another T one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, right. but yeah, but actually, the, the, but the, the, the T1 that they discussed it with, you've already asked them, they're willing to pay, right? Yeah. Okay. Before you spoke with T0. Before you spoke with T0, you've already asked T1, they're willing to pay. Exactly. So, T0 but the same is thing. either than the T. The, the people in the one. Yeah. yeah, but uh, it doesn't uh, give them the time to link around the 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 the, the, the proposed money or price. Right. Yes, yes. So, so like I I I will make sure that the price that you receive will not go to. Yes, yes. yes. Because if there's a if, because. The second person who receive higher price, why I need, to, uh, I need to pay a higher price while that person pays a lower price? Mm -hmm. I cannot answer that. And that's my 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 study will be completely messed up because now there's a new a new uh, behavior that I cannot control, knowing a price. So that's why this the the, the thing is when. When I uh, try to control this one, is I get the before I thought that maybe I just give the price and then think about the price, and then Whittington point out that no, if you do that, uh, you will get messed up. You know, you will. It's a big mess there. Oh yeah, uh, for your information, I got this. Uh, uh, I got funding from Ipsy, and then Dale Whittington is actually my uh, resource person, so I learned a lot. Question? Thank you, Lydia, for a uh, look at the, the yeah, how to... Yeah, think about the, yeah. the networks, how, yeah. how they actually talk to each other. I think, for me personally, that's the interesting part, how people interact, especially yeah. in the context of an urban society. And exactly. if, if you'd gone to me, I wouldn't have talked with anybody yeah. about this. Yeah, same like uh, what uh, um, Wawaf said about the community characteristic. Yeah. Culture. Yeah. But, it, but it's a cute, good community, right? To do this study. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you shouldn't have gone to my community. And you don't have to do that. choose your sample to be in Chicago, it may have been different. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sure. Yes. yes. Something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised the result is the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> For the case of London. But, but, but I will know better about that. You can discuss with the other yeah. yeah, we have discussed a little bit about it. We have a quite similar yeah. interest. Is there any questions? Uh, if not, maybe get close. Well, thank you very much for the attention. Thank you very much for the comments and then the, and the advice for my, the improvements. And then, Sorry if I didn't explain really well. Okay, thank you. And yes, nice uh, before we conclude our days, uh, we have a gift from our uh, head of CAS, the presenter.